Okay, good morning. Mark Sampson here again. 310-378-2268, just for the record. A quick story. I had a person click on each one of these topics this past week in one day. There's a lot of hours in those topics. There's a lot of blog material in those topics. And each one of these topics we go over in our staff meetings. I mean, we do this over a long period of time. Why do we do that? Because we want people to be in the moment every day of the week. We want them to feel comfortable with any surprises that might come up. And guaranteed in this business, you're gonna have surprises in whatever turn, whatever track you take, it's there and the standard old what we call basics don't really cover that it doesn't so why do people function that way uh, do they feel they're going to get everything in one fell swoop it's going to make them a million dollars no it doesn't happen that way what happens is that if you take action and you put the material to use then you have a good chance so my question, when I think about this, what happened to that person's business plan? I mean, they, apparently it's not a centric business plan based upon the advantages that they have as an individual. Well, a lot of people don't work it that way. They say, okay, you go in, you make so many calls, you get a lead, so many calls equal so many leads, so many leads equal maybe a, 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 a transaction or writing a listing or get, making a sale. It doesn't happen with enough repetitiveness to do that. So my question is, going through all this material like, like this person did, what, what happened to their support? Where is it? Okay, so as agents, why do we do what we do? You know, we have how we intake information. First of all, we have a wall. And the other person is going to have to get through that wall. So what happens when you go through that decision-making process? You have an internal decision or external decision process which says, I have to get a lot of other people's opinion. I have an internal decision process where I take it, and if I believe it through experience, because experience relates everything to us, you either defend it or you enroll other people. But you know what? What comes to my mind is where as an agent are you going to differentiate yourself with other people? because they expect that sales pitch and everyone else, all the other ones are competing for answers. Uh, well, uh, I mean, do we come up with answers every time that happens? No. So my question is, how are you gonna compete? How are you gonna differentiate yourself, which makes you totally different than anybody else? Think about this one. The answer is in moving them to their vision. Not your vision, their vision. Does that make sense to you? Your job is to get into that conversation they're having, find out what they want, and move them to what they want, to where you can be of service. Interesting concept. Okay, so if I told you Here's the kicker in this. If I told you, I want you to do nothing but making cold calls. I want to ask you, how many times have you heard this? Cold calls. I want you to make 10 per hour, six days a week. That totals 60 calls per week. Out of which, out of which, you're going to get one lead. If you're doing your calls right and you're moving them to their vision, you are going to get one lead a week. So where is the value? What is it that you're doing that you're not seeing where it creates your value? So the sales price equals one million dollars. That has a commission value of $25,000. You divide that by 60, and that's 150 plus minus per.
per call. Not bad in terms of your time spent, is it? And with that being said, if you ever have the opportunity and you'd like to sit in on one of our sessions every Wednesday, anyone is welcome, anytime. Feel free to come in. We will introduce ourselves and hopefully you'll have a great experience. Thank you until next time. Bye.